Hello everyone, welcome to the 15th video of this lecture series and in this video also we are going to look into some problems. So the first problem of today is here. The problem states that a Kano engine named A operates between temperatures T1 and T2 where T1 is greater than T2 and a second Kano engine named B uses all the heat rejected by the engine A as input and operates between the temperatures T2 and T3 where again T2 is greater than T3. So the efficiency of this coupled engine system. So we have to find out what is the efficiency of the coupled system. So this appeared in IISC 2007. Okay, so let us proceed with the problem. So let me first write out what they have given here. So Carnot engine A works between temperature T1 and T2 where T1 is greater than T2. So this is the heat source and this is the sink. So T1 is the temperature of the source and T2 is the temperature of the sink. And let us assume that eta A is the efficiency of this an engine engine a so we know what the formula of efficiency is for a kernel engine and we can easily calculate it using the formula t1 minus t sink by T source which will give nothing but 1 minus T2 by T1 okay so again let us define some other properties also so what will be the heat take It taken by Carnot engine A. Let us assume that it is Q1. And the work done is given by W1 okay so we can easily find out what is the heat given to the sink this can be done using the formula Eta A is equal to W1 by Q1 so W1 is our work done and Q1 is the heat taken so we have here W1 is equal to T1 minus the heat given to the sink minus heat given. So let us again assume that this is 
q2 so w1 will be q1 minus q2 divided by q1 and from this formula of eta a 1 minus t 2 over t1 we can write what w1 will be so w1 in this case will be we can write it as q1 times eta a so it will be q1 times 1 minus t2 by t1 so let me put a box around this formula so we're gonna use it in the next part also so now let us focus on Carnot engine B which is the second Carnot engine now what what it, has, what it is doing it is taking all the heat that is rejected by engine A as input and operates between temperature T2 and T3 so let us write out what it does operates between temperature T2 and T3 again T3 is smaller than T2 and in the earlier case for convention 1 it was T1 greater than T2 so T1 is greater than T2 and also greater than T3 and let us denote the efficiency of this engine as eta b which will be given by 1 minus t3 over t2 now again let us define the heat taken work done and heat rejected of this engine so first heat taken we know from the problem that heat taken is q2 because q2 is the heat that is rejected from Carnot engine a and that amount of heat is used in Carnot engine b so work done let us assume it to be w2 and it rejected just call it q3 so again we can easily derive the relationship between these three quantities so w2 will be q2 minus q3 and eta b is equal to w2 by q2 which will imply w2 by q2 to be equal to 1 minus p3 by t2 let us put a box around this formula also okay so we have defined both our Carnot engines separately now we will go to the problem and we will calculate the efficiency of this coupled system that is the efficiency of the current system consisting of Carnot engine A and Carnot engine B where the system is taking uh, energy in form of heat as we have defined here Q1 and rejecting a uh, amount of heat Q3 as we have defined here so let us define the 
combined system here in the combined system which consists of Carnot engine A and B. So what is the it taken by this system that is the first question that we have to answer and if we look at the problem again we will see that it is the Carnot engine A which is getting Q1 amount of heat and it is the Carnot engine B which is rejecting Q3 amount of heat and the amount of heat Q2 is just getting from heat engine A to B. So, for our combined system the heat taken will be given by the amount of heat taken by Carnot engine A. So, let us write it heat taken is equal to Q1 and heat rejected is equal to Q3 okay. So, now what will be the work done? Let us denote it by capital W. So, the work done will be nothing but Q1 minus Q3. So, we can write it in a different form as Q1 minus Q2 minus Q3 minus Q2 sorry this will be yeah this will be minus so this Q2 and this Q2 will get cancelled out and we can write it as Q1 minus Q2 plus Q2 minus Q3 now if we look into the work done by Carnot engine A and Carnot engine B we will see that for Carnot engine A the work done is given by ok I have not written it here so work done will be given by W1 which is Q1 minus heat rejected that is Q1 minus Q2 and for Carnot engine B the work done W2 is given by Q2 minus Q3. So, in this formula we can identify W to be just W1 and W2. So, this term is W1 the first term in the parenthesis and the second term in the parenthesis is W2. So, what we see is that work done of the combined system is summation of the work done by individual systems that is A and B conventions. Okay, so what will be the efficiency in this case? So, efficiency let us denote it by eta. Finding the efficiency is the question. So, efficiency is defined by work done by it taken. So, work done in our case is W and heat taken is Q1. So, that will be the efficiency. Now, W and Q1 are not given in the question. So, we have to simplify this form in terms of the temperatures. 
and that you are gonna do next so let us start by simplifying the form of total work done w is equal to w1 plus w2 and w1 is given by q1 times 1 minus t2 by t1 and w2 is given by q2 times 1 minus t3 by t2 so from here we will obtain w2 as 1 minus t3 by t2 times q2 so you can write it as q1 times 1 minus t2 by t1 plus q2 times 1 minus t3 by t2 and if we take out q1 on the left hand side we will obtain w by q1 equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 plus q2 by q1 times 1 minus t3 by t2 so this term here on the left hand side this term here on the left hand side is nothing but the efficiency term so here we have obtained theta is equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 plus q2 by q1 times 1 minus t3 by t2 now everything is in forms of the temperatures expect this term so we have to reduce this reduce this term in terms of t1 and t2 so to do that we look into the form of eta a which is efficiency of carbon engine a and that is given by sorry it will be 1 minus t2 by t1 which is also equal to w1 by q1 and we can write w1 as q1 minus q2 all over q1 and we can look into this part and this part and both of them will give us 1 minus t2 by t1 is equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 or q2 by q1 is equal to t2 by t1 so let me again put a box around this form now we can use this equation in this formula of eta so if we do that eta is equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 plus t2 by t1 times 1 minus t3 by t2 so we have just replaced q2 by q1 as t2 by t1 in this form of eta and we have obtained this form now this is very easy to simplify this 1 minus t2 by t1 plus t2 by t1 minus t3 by t2 times t2 by t1 these t2s will cancel out and this t1 t2 by t1 terms will cancel out and we will obtain 1 minus t3 by t1 so our final answer is eta which is efficiency of the combined system 
is given by 1 minus T3 by T1. So, this is our answer. And if you look into the system here also, like we have defined, this is like another Carnot engine which is operating between temperature T1 and T3. So, this combined system of A and B is working between temperature T1 and T3. The efficiency formula is just indicating that. Okay, so let us go back to the problem and see the options. And we can see here that option C is the one which is matching our answer. So this is the correct answer. Okay, so this was the first problem of today, and now we will look into refrigerators, which is a heat engine run in reverse cycle, where we can basically cool things okay so today we are gonna look in Carnot cycle in reverse or basically refrigerators let me write it with a better handwriting Okay, so we know from the second law of thermodynamics that it flows from a hotter object to a colder one. So that's why our Carnot cycle that has a heat source working at temperature T1 and heat sink at constant temperature T2 where T1 is greater than T2. So what are Carnot engine that is extracts some amount of heat from a source to do some work and what is the work done in this case if it extracts q1 amount of heat and give q2 amount of heat to the sink then work done is given by Q1 minus Q2. These things we have already learned. So, what is the difference between a Carnot cycle and a Carnot cycle which is running in reverse? So, so a Carnot cycle that is running in reverse is basically like an air conditioning device that is basically cooling our room. So how that is being achieved? It is achieved by the system taking or doing some amount of work to transfer heat from a colder to water object. So basically if this is the reservoir at temperature T2 and this is the reservoir at temperature T1 and this is our Carnot cycle running in reverse then if we 
give external work W that is system is external amount of work W to transfer amount of heat from this thing to this thing which is the opposite direction of Arno engine. So let us say this is Q2 and this is Q1 then Q1 will be given by W plus Q2. So basically a Carnot cycle which is working in reverse direction is taking some work from external source to retrieve Q2 amount of heat from a reservoir which is at lower temperature and transfer it to a heat reservoir at hotter temperature. So this is basically like a refrigerator which will take heat from a colder object and make it even colder. So now the next thing and the most important thing that we are interested in is what is the efficiency. Definition. So efficiency of an refrigerator is defined as the ratio of heat taken or removed from the colder source to that is it taken or removed from the colder source to the amount of work done. So, eta for a refrigerator will be defined as W, sorry, Q2 by W, where Q2 is defined here in this diagram. So, let me put a box around this. And we can simplify this formula as eta r equal to q2 by q1 minus q2. So this will be basically equivalent to t2 by t2, sorry, this will be t1 minus t2. So, yeah, so that is the main formula that we are going to need to do problems of Carno cycle which is running in reverse or refrigerators. Okay, so now we are going to use this formula to solve some problems. Okay, so this is the second problem of okay. And this problem also appeared in IIS entrance exam of 2012. The problem states that an engine of efficiency eta operates between two reservoirs at temperature T1 and T2 given that T2 is greater than T1 that is T2 is the source temperature and T1 is the sink temperature and doing an amount of work W in one cycle. Okay. So the next part of the problem states that all of this work is used to drive an ideal Carnot engine in reverse as a refrigerator. So the first engine that is a 
heat engine is doing some work which is amount of w given here and that amount of work is used to drive an heat engine which is working in reverse direction and they are working basically between the same reservoirs so the question is then to find the total heat extracted from the hot reservoir in one combined cycle of the two engines so let us proceed here what we have to calculate is the total heat extracted from the source so let us proceed by defining the Arno heat engine So this works between two reservoirs which are at temperature T2 and T1 and T2 is greater than T1. So this is T2 source and this is T1 sink and the heat engine denoted by H does an amount of work W. So work done by the heat engine is equal to w and assume that heat taken from sources q2 and heat given to sink is q1 so these quantities are user defined so the work done w is given by W equal to Q2 minus Q1. Okay. So that is the heat engine part. And let us also define the efficiency of this heat engine as eta. And this will be given by 1 minus T1 by to let us define the Carnot engine which is working in reverse direction So this is taking an external work of amount W which is equivalent to I mean actually equal to the work that is done by the heat engine. So this is taking this much amount of work and working between the same reservoirs which is T1 and T2. So let me also write it here as this is the hotter one and this is the colder one. Okay. So let us draw the diagram for this also which is working in the reverse direction.
so this is working in reverse and taking an amount of work done w and retrieving an amount of heat q1 dash and returning in an amount of heat q2 dash to the reservoir at higher temperature is T2 and this is at lower temperature T1 so in this case the work done by external source or work done on the engine is equal to W which is the work done by heat engine and heat taken from reservoir at lower T which is T1 is equal to T1 dash similarly it given to reservoir at higher T oh, sorry this should be capital T T2 is equal to Q2 prime so in this case also W is Q2 prime minus Q1 prime. And the efficiency let us denote it by K because we have already used the eta symbol here. This will be equal to Q1 prime by W because for a refrigerator the efficiency is defined as the amount of heat extracted from the Older reservoir to the total work done on the refrigerator. So now let us draw both the engines between working between these two reservoirs in a single picture and then we will just see how to calculate the total heat extracted from the water reservoir. So we have one reservoir here, another one here. So this one is at temperature T2. Water reservoir and this one is at temperature T1. Older reservoir and the Carnot engine is working between these two taking an amount of heat Q2 returning an amount of heat Q1 and doing work W and the reverse engine is also working between these two taking the work done by the heat engine and taking a amount of heat q1 dash and returning a total amount of heat q2 dash to the hotter reservoir this is hot this is 
fold. So the question states to calculate total heat extracted from hot reservoir and that will be nothing but let us denote it by Q Q2 minus Q2 dash. This is evident from this diagram here. Now all we have to do is represent Q2 and Q2 dash in terms of the given quantities that is eta W T1 and T2. So let us do that quickly and see what is the final form. We have Q equal to Q2 minus Q2 dash and we have to write both of them in terms of the given quantities. Now the first term we can do easily because we know eta which is the efficiency of the heat engine is given by work done by heat taken so we can use this equation to just write q2 as w by eta so we have q2 as w over eta minus q2 prime dash now this term q2 dash that we have to right in terms of the given quantities. So we know K is equal to which is efficiency Q2 dash the work done. Here W is same because this is the same work done that is done by the heat engine. So you can write it as Q2 dash by Q1 dash minus Q2 dash and which will be equal to T2 by T1 minus T2. I made a small mistake here. This will be Q1 actually. Q1 by W because the heat taken from the holder reservoir is equal to Q1 dash. So let us delete this part and start again. Now we can write this as Q1 dash by Q2 dash minus Q1 dash which is equivalent to T1 by T2 minus T1. You will have Q1 dash as T1 times one by T2 minus T1 times W. So we are basically looking at this part of the equation and this part. So we can multiply the W in the denominator here to this part and we will obtain this one. And we also know Q2 dash is equal to W plus Q1 dash. So we will have Q2 dash equal to W plus Q1 dash which can be obtained from this equation as W plus W times E1 by E2 minus T1. So we can take the W outside and it's, this will be 1 plus T1 by E2 minus E1. We 
which is equal to w times t2 minus t1 plus t1 divided by t2 minus t1 so q2 dash will be w times 1 over we can write it in a simpler form as 1 minus t1 by t2 so let me put a box around this equation and also let me oh, we have put a box around this equation already so we can just write u which is the total heat extracted from the hotter reservoir is equal to u2 minus u2 dash which is w over eta minus w by 1 minus t1 by t2 this is coming from this equation so we can write it as w times 1 over eta minus 1 over 1 minus t1 by t2 so q equal to w times 1 over eta minus 1 by 1 minus t1 by t2 this is the answer this is the final answer so there were no options given here so what we have obtained is the correct answer okay so this was the second problem of this video and uh, in the next video we will learn about thermodynamic potentials so bye for today